Hello everyone, my name is Cynthia. Welcome to Apollo School Online. This is a drawing that we're gonna do for this class. Are you ready? Are you going to prepare your tools? And let's see what tools we're gonna need for today. Okay everyone, today we're gonna do the sketch. All right, so let's see the paper. It's similar like the pencil crayon. We can use the same paper. So we can use the sketchbook, of course, because we are doing the sketch. And mixed media paper as well, right? And if you don't have any one of them, I would say printing paper is okay, but the better result will be on the sketchbook, all right? So if you don't have any one of them, sketchbook or mixed media paper, you can use the printing paper for today, all right? But I would say the better result will be on the sketchbook, all right? So let's see the pencils. You can buy a case like that. So there has a bunch of the number. So we can have HB, FB, 2B, 3B, onto 6B. That's good enough. And H, 2H, 3H, 4H, and that's good enough. All right, so the pencil will look like that. Each pencil has their own number. So we will use different number to do the shading. All right, that's our sketch pencils. And of course, we are not perfect. We will make the mistake. So we need to have the erasers, the good one. All right, not the cute one. We will use the sharpener all the time to keep the pencil look sharp. And we can shade it in neat and detailed work. All right, the last thing that's a special thing, we need to have the visible eraser. We can say that it's a soft eraser because we can shape it. It looks like the gummy, all right? This eraser is good for the sketch because we can shape any to erase the detail that we need. All right, so that's the last one, the soft eraser. If you don't have this one for today, it's okay. You can use the hard erasers. And if you have the chance, you can get what for next time. All right, so that's everything. Now we can start to do our sketch for today. All right, so today we're gonna do the light sketch for this more cupcake. They're actually, the fake one, okay? But we just use that as a sample. But as you see, my object is very, very tiny. If I do the light size like the last time, it will be very tiny on our paper, right? It doesn't look pretty. So today we have to make the size slightly bigger to make it look balanced and big enough on um, our joint paper, okay? All right, so same thing. It looks like the cup before, right? We have the base, we have the top. All right, so same thing. We're gonna start with the layout. So from my perspective, I want my cupcake looks like this big. I do it very light. So it will be on the middle of my paper. All right, you can grab 2B pencil. You can use HB pencils to do the layout. 2B or HB. All right. So try to make it big and making sense. All right, not too tiny, not too small. And the outline has to be very easy to be erased. So mine is like this big. I only have a little bit space left, a little bit space left. All right, so let's see. For the cupcake, we have the cup, right? The paper cup, buns, and the topping. So we have three stuff. So first of all, my is my web paper is right about here. So no detail. I just separate the bun and the topping is about right here. All right, so don't worry about the layout. The layout doesn't have to be perfectly like the perfect circle, perfect oval, or perfect straight line. It only need to show the size and the place on the joint.
When we're done with the layout, we know how big it's gonna be. We know where we want to place on the pictures. Now we have to shape it so to make it doesn't look like the sunny. Egg, it will be looks like more like the cupcake. All right. So first of all, I'm gonna do the body first. It's simple and easy. Just shrink it. So we have to find two lights first. And this one is more diagonal angles because the perspective that we see it is actually one point perspective see it's shrink it shrink it and keep going and the vanish point will be outside the paper so one point perspective shrink it shrink it and there's a vanish point outside the paper all right then I can close the base. Just one single line. Then I can remove the extra pencil line that we don't need it. Only for the bottom. I can remove the center cross. But you can remove the center crown a little bit later, that's okay. Alright, I'm done with the base, the cup. Now the web. Alright. It is a little bit more and you don't have to worry that much. Like you don't have to do it too crazy. So I'm gonna zoom in. Alright, like this one. Okay. So we just make sure all the textures the zigzag line is right on the line we were making. We don't do it on the top or the bottom, just right on it. And keep the size balanced because this is supposed to be looks almost like the same, but not exactly the same. Some of them could be a little bit smaller, a little bit longer. Getting smaller on the side. And the wax go all the way to the top right here. Alright, so I can keep adding, but they were going to be smaller because the perspective. When the object's a little bit further away, it will be smaller. Alright, so now we can add in the liner. What we do is on the top first, the bottom parts, not the top yet. Don't be confused. Then we have to remove the extra line that we don't need it. If you do the layout very light and gentle, it should be a problem for you to remove it. It's very hard for you to clean them up, which means you're doing them too heavy. So next time, reduce the pressures on the layout slide.
All right, let's see the cupcake. The cup was done. Now we see the bun. So we can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So two at the back, very tiny. All right. So let's do the front three. So you start from here. About here, I just give myself a dot. Here, there, and here. I give myself the dots so that I can do one, two, three. First, all right. So a little bit curve. Let's see. We do the topping here, right? The bum is touching the topping. So do the curve, touch the topping. And this one, it looks like I leave this one. Not straight, but not really curvy. Touch the point. The other one here, and you see here has something tiny. It's on the right here, in between the dots. I have to get myself half one there. Last one of these three. So I have one, two, three. Okay, so when we finish one, two, three, then we can do four and five. Four and five. Alright, just on the side. Now they are curved out of the paper. one too big I'm having them too big I have to shrink the side to go very smooth, right? And we have the other two just go behind. One and two. So I leave the topping on the top because you're gonna design your own topping. All right, so before that, we have to finish the shape first. Then the topping will be the detail. I'm gonna pause the video right here until everyone's doing on the right page and on the same step. So for this step, 
you're gonna start to think about your own topping. All right, so as I mentioned, skill is very important as well. But the idea, the creations is also important. They are equally. So now I want to forget about the topping from the real stuff. I want to start to something something on the top. It could be something real. It could be something unreal. Okay, so don't limit it. Now you have about three to five minutes to finish the topping and something around.
All right, so for next step, we're gonna start to do the shading. We are doing the sketch. So I want you to have H pencils. So you will see the H return on the pencil back to be the pencil that we were using. 4B. All right, this is a darker sketch pencil that we're gonna use for today. All right, so we start with the brightest H pencil. So the bottom is the white wax paper, right? So they do have some shadow. So remember we were adding the line and there's like the top roof. So let me zoom in. Okay, so we have a line, we add the liner and we have the top roof. All right, let's see what we're gonna do. I use this one as a sample. I bring the roof the corner from the roof, a line here, and do dark, medium, and light with H pencil. And stop. Again, I can do it right here. So if the roof is very close, it's gonna be small. But this one, I don't see any, right? We don't see any there, any there. So we can do something here. Not too dark because we are using the H pencil. You don't have to cover it so heavy. All right. So you have to just repeat and repeat to complete this part. Color volume, dark, medium, light. Slightly is okay. It doesn't have to be so crazy. Okay, you have to be patient because there's lots of work. Many, many of them. Alright, then we finish the wrap, then we can have the shading at the bottom a little bit. The so light. Just the bottom. Not to the top, not to the middle, just the bottom. Here and inside the wax. On the bunt, medium light. All right, then we're done with the wax paper. If you have any graphics, then you can do it right now. To adding the patterns on top of the shadow.
Okay, so the next part, we're gonna do the bun, right? It has a little bit burning part and the fresh part, so the color will be different. So now I want you to buy your 2B pencils. All right, so we can start. Let's see. We start to color where it has the browny color. So it will look like that. It will look slightly darker than the cupcake, the cup that we are making. Left and right, up and down. Smooth the color. All right, let's see this one. This one here. Make sure you are not color on top of the wet paper. Curly, smaller. If you have the topping, don't burn the topping. See, I keep using the same directions when I was the sh uh, when I was doing the shading. I didn't do it quick. I tried to make the color, the shading looks solid and clean, no rushing, but only around the edge. I will slow down and make sure I'm not crossing the colors and there's no white space. Change the angle when I was doing the shading to make the color look darker at the middle. All right, then next one. Don't worry if I'm doing too fast. I'm gonna pause the video when I finish the burning part. We'll try to make the color look clean and solid. Keep off, then looks like the same. Same color tone, not either one looks too dark, darker than the rest of pants. This one's on the side. The other two, they are small, but we can see it.
now we have to do the light part but they do have the shadow for each right but I want to keep my paper clean so I have to find a piece of paper to cover my drawing so my hand is not going to smash on it right let's see same thing we're still using 2B pencils all right so here has a shadow where is it this one But brighter, I didn't call it so dark. You have to be light, light, light bright. I just add in the shadow. All the way to touch the burning part. There's no white color on the bond. Let's color volume. Dark, medium, light. No white. All right, same thing here. A little bit darker. Yes. And getting brighter, brighter, brighter to touch the burning heart. Right, and leave the middle because the middle doesn't have the shadow right on the corner, but we do have the shadow right here. Step by step, one at a time. But this part has to be very, very light. Try to do the shading that you don't see the liner on the paper. Try to smooth the color. Alright. So it's not easy to keep the sketch looks clean because it's very easy to use shading and too heavy, too dark. Alright, so it takes time to practice. Then the shadow. Dark. Medium. Light. Make sure the bond on the top of the bond has no white color. So everything is dark, medium, and light. This time we are using the pencil called 2B. Burning part, dark, medium, light. Don't color on the topping yet. We are not doing it yet. Make sure there is no white space because the bomb is not that shiny, but it doesn't have the light black shines.
All right. If you have queens like the the white queen, you can use your two H or H. Remember, we were using the H pencil. The H pencil is brightest, right? We can use the H to shade in our queen. If you have the berry, like the blueberry, red berries, or the strawberry, something dark, then you can use 4B pencil. And I want you to try to color them with dark medium light all the time. Okay. So whatever what kind of topping you have, I want to see a little bit shadow, a little bit highlight. Just like my queens, I have the a little bit shadow, so it will make this looks more like 3D. Alright, and my pineapple is not white, but they are yellow, so I still keep using H pencil, but I will color them a little bit darker than the white queen. To separate one's yellow, yellow is a little bit darker, but not too dark. So when you start to shade in the background, you have to think about it. The color, when the color turns into black and white, which one is darker? Alright, and my blueberry, I have a blueberry there, so it has to go darker, almost like the black. So I have to place my hand on top of clean papers, so I don't smash it. And blueberry, it could be a little bit shiny, so we have to have the light reflections. Right, so you can see they are totally different. Even I, I didn't use any colors. I can still using black and white, the shadow, the color value to separate each object. Right? Got the background.
now, when you finish the drawing, write the dates and sign your name. And we done the sketch for today's.